excuse my face, but uh, y'all knew I had to do this because as my good sis Natalie was saying. And she's super black child, so you know the car got to have an afro in it. <laughs> and if y'all have not checked out her podcast, please do. You are black excellence. She She's super African-American. <laughs> super black. The lightest super black person I know. Gave me a Black Lives Matter stick. <laughs> she's so urban. I love it. You motherfuckers is at it again, ain't you? So as we know, clearly motherfucking Karens decided they wanted to put their hands on black men. And I know, you know, everybody has seen the video, but uh just in case you haven't, uh let let's let's take a look and we and we're gonna do this together because I got to do my hair. So we gonna we gonna go through this together because I got a lot of I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say about this. Um, so let let's let's. I'm so done. Listen. Uh I told y'all I was gonna do my hair. Don't ask me what I'm about to do to it. Probably gonna take these twists down and retwist them. I don't know. Uh natural hair struggles. So why I do that, I was like why not just talk about it and do your hair at the same time? Like, you ain't doing shit else? Girl, this nappy hair. So, I, I'm i late. I'm always late to the game when I see stuff. And if y'all see me moving around, I'm getting products and all kind of stuff because shit just be happening as it's happening. But I'm always late to the game when it comes to, to, comes to shit. I miss all the videos because I don't be on social media like that. So, I catch shit late. This happened Saturday at the Steelers game. But I saw it, I want to say yesterday, cause, yep, because I posted it on my Instagram story. I saw it on the Hughley page. And I posted it on my Instagram story because before I did a video, I wanted to get other people's opinion. Because I, I just wanted to see what everybody else had to say. And everybody else pretty much had to say the same thing that I was thinking. That bitch should have got her ass beat. There's so many lessons to be learned here. Lesson number one. I'm going to take off my rings. Don't put your hands on nobody. Don't put your... Don't put your hands on nobody and expect not to get hit the fuck back. Especially a fucking man. When, ladies, 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 ladies. And and I'm gonna get to the race part in a second, but but just just the simple fact of, ladies, don't put your hands on these men and not expect to get hit the fuck back. Now most men that I me personally, because of course I got a boyfriend, Rodney not gonna put his hands on me. That's not gonna happen. Have I slipped up and hit him one time? Yes, he pissed me off that bad. Because he's sarcastic, so it was kind of like a reflection hit. But at the same time, I know if I hit this nigga, he, gonna, he might hit me back. He's not going to hit me back. He's not going to put his hands on me at all. If anything, he probably was like, girl, please. Um, but I'm not finna just hit him, though. Because he's a man. And if I hit him, he has every right to hit me the fuck back. <laughs> like, it... It, it, now, if he go haul enough on my ass, that's domestic violence. That's different. But if I put my hands on this man, he has every right to defend himself. And that goes for everybody. First of all, I lost my daddy to domestic violence, was killed by a woman. 
So I don't do that putting hands and shit and feet to people. If you don't want to get your ass beat, woman or man, don't hit nobody. I was always the person where if I was in a fighting situation, because I used to fight a lot when I was in when I was a teenager, y'all know I was troubled and shit. I was always the motherfucker that'll hit first. Because I feel like you threatening my life and I don't like that. But I knew I could fight though. I didn't just go hauling off on bitches just for the fun of it. Like you had to have provoked me. Like a bitch had a rat tail comb in my face, this motherfucking clothes. Bitch, you did that, 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 that. You did that. First of all, you, my life is in danger. You ain't got to touch me. I'm about to touch you. So I was always the person that hit first. Because you're not, you not going to get one up on me. I, I don't trust you at this point. You're not going to get one up on me. I don't do that shit. And if I feel threatened in any way, I'm going to pop your ass. So I was the motherfucker that hit first. Okay, cool. Whatever. That's just me. But I do know that once I hit somebody, it's a fight. <laughs> like they gonna try to hit me back or they gonna hit me back whatever the case is I ain't never lost no fight but I'm not saying that I can't I can't beat everybody's ass but you don't put your hands on the motherfucker and expect not to get hit back that's one lesson she I don't know who the fuck and where the fuck who told her that shit was okay but y'all gonna quit fucking with us and I said in my previous video, the other video I did, where I did uh, black people in white areas. You white motherfuckers, and y'all know I'm going to say something because clearly I got a whole playlist of shit like this. That white privilege shit. Go back and watch that video if you ain't seen it. Karen's in white privilege. You motherfuckers going to quit fucking with us. If that wasn't an example PSA or whatever you want to call it to all the white women out there who feel like they can fuck with our black men or women that was your motherfucking time that that's that's your moment to know we better leave them the fuck alone because they not with that bullshit she should have got her ass molly whopped because first of all Black women don't even do shit like that to black women, black men in public. We we don't even have that level of uh, had there been a black woman and a black man arguing, she not finna just haul off and just slap him because she know okay if I hit this nigga, it's a slight chance that nigga gonna hit me the fuck back. Let me sit the fuck down. So if we don't hit our own, and I saw that in one of the comments on the one of the YouTube videos I was watching. I wish I could remember his name or I, I put him in the in the video, but I, I'm sorry, baby, I can't remember your name. Um, I saw that on one of the comments. One of the ladies was like, shit, black women don't even hit black men. You know, you got your occasional domestic violence situations, but in this case, hell no. So what makes you think with your privileged white ass after the man clearly said, don't put your hands on me? Now, if you notice, because I watched the video about a good 50 times before I said something, she tried to hit him and he blocked it. She tried to punch him and he grabbed her arm and she slapped him. So it was like a punch, grab, slap move. And he literally said, don't put your hands on me. He warned you and you still decided you want to slap, slap this man. I got to give, I got to give all the blessings to that brother because the way he held back he that boy hit the and he thought about it that brother was raised right he know not to put his hands on no woman like he he, he know not to he wanted to knock the shit out of her ass but some his mama somebody that came to came to his mind like let me not put my hands on this woman but when old dude got up Oh, it's a wrap. Because, see, now you got to take her ass whooping. And then I'm going to have to whoop your ass for thinking that you finna just come at me like this. Nah. That ain't how that shit work, cuz. Um. Shit, here you go. So. Y'all, y'all going to quit fucking with us. And he should have slapped her motherfucking ass. I'm, I'm glad he held back. That was, that was very 
good move for him. That was a very humble move. He, he did good on that one by holding back from punching the shit out of her motherfucking ass. But he should have hit her motherfucking ass. He should have. He should have. Because, bitch, how dare you? That nigga took his glasses off. That's how you knew shit was finna get real. He took his motherfucking glasses off. That man say, somebody get his glasses. He took his glasses off. He fucked that white man up. And you can clearly tell in the dynamic between the white man and the white woman that was there. I don't know if they was together or what, but if they are, she damn sure wearing the pants in that motherfucking relationship. Because one thing I can give a motherfucking ass, she had them things. Like she she was she ain't go out like no bitch. She ain't go out like no bitch. She ain't, I gotta get she ain't go out like no bitch. She a bitch, but she ain't go out like one. And that's the problem. They think they can do whatever the fuck they wanna do and get away with that shit. Now, here's my thing. And this is, you know, I didn't I, I saw one comment on this, uh, on the YouTube video where one of the girls was like, well, there was, a, there was a black girl with him. Now, I don't know if she was with him with him or just in the vicinity, but I seen a couple of black chicks, specifically the ones standing next to him. And they were like, they hoped that they wasn't together. I hope like hell they wouldn't either because if they were, bitch, I wish me and Rodney would be somewhere and a bitch put their hands on him, I'm going and I'm a, I'm going to whoop her ass. I'm going to whoop him, his ass. I don't give a damn. We came together, nigga. We going, we, we on some gangster shit. But if she was with him, she should have whooped that white lady's ass. I'm, I'm sorry. It couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me. And even if she was not with him, because I know a lot of people said they wasn't, they, they might have not been together. Even if she was not with him, the type of person that I am, because I'm so big on protect black people, especially protect black men, back when we ain't even got to be together. Just the simple fact that you just put your hands on one of my fellow brethren, I'm finna pummel your motherfucking ass at this point. Like, fuck, you think he pushed your motherfucking ass because don't get it twisted because I'm waiting for somebody to be like, well, he pushed her and she flipped over and my... No, nah, that bitch came towards him again and she was in the motherfucking way. Bitch, you in the way, you gonna get these hoes too. She should have flipped across them motherfucking chairs. It ain't no way in hell I'm going to be sitting next to one of my black brethren, whether I know you or not, and not get in that shit. Now, that's just me. That's just me personally. I'm not going to do that. Because that's somebody's son, daddy, uncle, boy, boyfriend, husband. I don't give a damn. He black. I'm black, nigga. We going to be black together. I'm going to whoop this bitch on your behalf. You take him, I take her. Let's go. Tag team. And I wear glasses too, so we could have got out them bitches at the same time. So if she was with him and she did not do anything, it's like you ain't even, she kind of, I guess, tried to break up the fight. Didn't look like to me she was too much trying to do much of nothing. I'm a whole different breed. Let's get into some gangster shit. And all the people that's close to me know, let's get into some gangster shit. Because I'm not feeling, no. No, that's the problem. We sit here, we act like, we don't, I know that's not my, we quick to pull out them motherfucking phones. I, I wouldn't have pulled out shit. Y'all just gonna have to record me because I'm finna beat this bitch ass. I ain't grabbing no phone. I ain't grabbing shit but her. I would have whooped her ass and it would have took all the motherfuckers over there to get me off of her like I, the way he fucked him up that would have been me and he fucked him up that's that's the part that I was kind of stuck on and I kept watching I'm like damn she ain't gonna do shit like the dude don't want to hit her because she a woman despite the fact that he slapped that she slapped him first but you just don't you ain't like you ain't gonna even try to get your lick in. Like I'd have had to get my lick in. Like I, I would have, I would have got my lick in for all black people everywhere. Like she would have been that that token example fucking white bitch that got her ass pummeled for all the black motherfuckers out there that's been suffering. Like she would have been the one. She'd have had to take one for the team. 
she'd have had to, she'd have got home and all her friends would have been calling her like, oh my God, are you okay? We're never going to fuck with black people again. She'd have had black eyes, blue eyes, bloody noses. She had to go to the hospital. Cause it ain't no way. Like if we keep if we keep letting them get away with this shit, they gonna keep doing it. So I hope, and I really hope somebody, one of her white counterparts, see that video. Don't fuck with us, please, please don't fuck with us. And what's gonna kill me? Because I, I I read the news, the little the article they posted. This shit say. Hold on, let me. <clears throat> Hinesfield management is aware of the video and incident from last night's game in Hinesfield. We are working with local authorities and Hinesfield staff to gather more information and identify the individuals involved, said Steelers spokesperson Burt. This kind of con this kind of conduct is inexcusable. And we will respond accordingly once more information is obtained. Pittsburgh police are asking anyone with information on the incident to contact police at whatever the fuck their bullshit number is. Y'all got a whole motherfucking video. What the fuck information are y'all looking for? What y'all want to know the backstory? Like, what happened leading up to it? Like, you got the fucking video, nigga. You saw what happened. They were arguing. Whatever the fuck they were arguing about is irrelevant. It doesn't fucking matter at this point. They were arguing. She said, get out for whatever the fuck reason. Because, bitch, you don't own this stadium. So, I don't know who gave you the right, other than your fucking skin, to kick somebody the fuck out of somewhere. This is a game. I paid to get in here. I'm going to stay in here. He proceeds to tell you don't touch me and you hit him anyway. Ain't ain't no ain't no investigation needed. There go your investigation. That whole fucking video. You don't need no what the fuck information is you looking for. You had all them people around there with them goddamn cameras. You see the viral video. What the fuck are you looking for? What's gonna piss me off? And I hate that this don't happen, but y'all, y'all know. They gonna find some kind of way to put that shit on that black man, and it's gonna piss me off even more. It's gonna make me big mad. Like I'm, a, I'm gonna be real mad because that's what's gonna happen. They gonna find some type of fucking way to put that shit on that black man, and it's gonna be hell to pay. Cause it ain't no way. We taking that shit. No, fuck that. Too many of the people done seen it. That that nigga, he gonna be all right. He gonna be all right. That's why I, ooh, I couldn't have been. I couldn't have been in none of these situations that I've been talking about lately. Uh, and on my We Matter series. Because, child, I'm not the one to be play with. My attitude is not, it can't be controlled sometimes. I don't care who I'm with. I don't care who say what. My mama can't control me. Rodney can't control me. Christian can't control me. They can try. Sometimes I listen. Sometimes I don't. But about certain shit, it's like, bro, don't even fuck with her. And my goons, shit, we all going in. You fuck with one, you fuck with us all. We roll deep. So, shit, I get to fighting, everybody gonna start fighting. Like, it's it's a whole, you gotta go through about 10, 10 people. So, that shit right there, that was fucked up. And I'm glad that I saw most of the comments, well, really all of the comments that I saw, I ain't see no fuck shit. Like, I ain't see no comments where I, I got mad and I had to take a minute back or they tried to find some way to blame the black man and all that shit. Even from fellow white people. Because y'all know y'all cousin fucked up. Cousin Karen can't come to no more motherfucking gatherings. They gonna be like, uh-uh, bitch. We don't claim you. And I, and I would say, oh, dude, gonna leave her, but shit, she gonna leave him. Like, nigga, what did you, you just got your ass beat. <laughs> like, you just got your ass beat in front of all these people. You let this black man beat your ass? Get the fuck out of my house. Yeah, they done. All right, they was together. They finished. If they was married, they getting a divorce. Because she told that nigga to sit down like she run the motherfucking household. 
<laughs> That's some bitch shit. Like, nigga, sit down. I got this. Like, I, I know that nigga had to be embarrassed. I'm so glad when you see his face. Like, he... to us in the world anyway so you gonna provoke us even more and expect us not to fucking react but y'all call us animals okay check it right is it just me or when you go to the zoo because they like to call us gorillas and shit when you go to the zoo and hold on y'all know i got to drink coffee for a while mm -hmm. it's an addiction no judgment when you go to the zoo right and they got the gorillas or the monkeys or, you know, the animals be in the cages and shit. Do you get in there and fuck with the gorilla? Like, do you just go in the gorilla cage and just start poking at him and shit? Like, or just teasing him and shit, just start fucking with the gorilla? I didn't think so. What you think would happen if you go in, the, in there and you start fucking with that gorilla? He going to fuck you up. He going to get you back. You're done. You're fucking done. If you go in an animal's cage in their habitat and in their territory and you fuck with them, they going to fuck with you back. So why are y'all so quick to call us gorillas and animals and all kind of shit, yet y'all feel the need to fuck with us and think we ain't going to do, do nothing back? Hmm. Your white privilege may protect you when it comes to the government, the police, justice, racism, all kind of shit, jobs, all this privilege y'all get here, going to restaurants, obviously from a previous video we saw. But it don't protect you from these hands, boo-boo. It don't protect you from these hands, honey. That go for men and women. White people, quit fucking with us. Don't do that. Don't fuck with us. Because that's what the fuck happens when you do shit like that. That's why I say I hope I hope that video, I hope motherfuckers look at it like, damn, we ain't even, clearly, we, they not to be fucked with. Let's not fuck with the colors. Because y'all think that white privilege shit gonna save y'all. It ain't gonna save y'all from this ass whooping. And if he do go to jail or if he do get in trouble, just like I said, if I was there, I would have whooped her ass. And I would have gladly walked out that motherfucking handcuffs. I'd have just had to take that charge with pride. I'd have been like, fuck it. I had to take one for the team that day. I had to do it for the culture that day. Because I know in my heart that shit needed to be done. And I promise you, like, it's going to be a fucking uproar, but he ain't regret that shit. That shit needed to fucking happen. Bitch, don't put your hands on no motherfucking body. Don't put your white privileged ass hands on no motherfucking black man. Don't do it, because I wish a bitch would put their hands on my motherfucking man. You're going to ask, even if I ain't there, I'm going to find you. My brother, anybody. I have so many black men in my life. Please don't play with me. Please don't play with me. I tell my kids that. I used to tell my kids that all the time. When they be in relationships and shit, they might want to play fight or whatever, all that kind of shit. Don't put your hands on that man. Don't put your hands on that man. Because if you put your hands on him and he hit your motherfucking ass back, I can't do nothing for you. Because you shouldn't have put your hands on him in the first motherfucking place. Period. That's, that's how that shit go. You should have kept your hands to your fucking self. I don't know what this is doing, but it's doing it. <laughs> Y'all, I really don't be knowing what to do to my fucking hair. But I just had to do 
my little reaction on that shit, or my little video on that shit. If y'all see another video and I'm doing my hair in this exact same spot, in this exact same bathroom, in this exact same outfit, that's because I'm knocking these hoes out while I can and while I got a minute because as soon as I step out of here, it's work time. As soon as I step out of here. So, <laughs> keep your hands to yourself. White people quit fucking with us. Sisters, if y'all see a white woman or anybody fucking with your people, I understand a lot of people don't want to get involved. But at the same time, know that they limited to certain shit. Like I said, with me personally, I, I would have whooped her ass. I would have whooped her ass proudly. Whether I knew that man or not. And I pray that they wasn't together. Because if they together, they ain't together no more. Because as soon as we got in that car, but... So you just was gonna let her slap me, you wasn't gonna get in or nothing, like you wouldn't even and she she pushing she pushing him off her husband or whatever we just gonna assume as a husband. She pushing him off and then kicked him at the end. That kick at the end, oh, I would have started the whole fight all over again. Bitch, did you just put you don't put your feet on nobody. That is the most disrespectful thing other than spitting in the motherfucker's face. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Go on. I can't be with you. I can't be with you if, if shit like this happened and you ain't got my back. Like, me and Ronnie call ourselves Bonnie and Clyde. Because it, it ain't no way. I be like, we finna get into some gangster shit, like I said. So, yeah, no, nah, that part, I couldn't really fuck with that. That kind of pissed me off a little bit. That's the part that I was kind of stuck on, I ain't gonna lie. Because I'm like, sis, sis could have, she could have did, she could have pushed us or something. Like, damn, you ain't even gonna... You ain't gonna do shit. All right, but that's my reaction on that. Girl, look who! And my birthday coming, y'all. I have no idea what to do to my hair. But anyway, I just said what I had to say on that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Why I always do that at the end? I'm gonna have to do better. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Just and share the video. Share the video. I'm out here looking like Snoop Dogg. Share the video. Quit being selfish. Share it. You got social media. Y'all share everything else. Hell, share this video. Share all them videos that's on my channel. Just tell a friend, goddammit. Invite some people to subscribe. Hit the notification button. All that. I need all that. I need all that. But I will talk to y'all later. Let me try to figure out what the fuck I'm going to do with this monstrosity on my head. Keep it in see motherfucking self. And stop fucking with us. Period.